Meantime, a family of three in New York City was among those killed after a night of torrential rain and severe flooding spawned by a remnant of Hurricane Ida. Police say the storm flooded that family's basement apartment in the Queens borough. A toddler was among those killed. The names of the family members have not been released yet. Uh, right on the corner, so they have they had more water than me, and that's the basement. Mine is walking, so mine is upper than there, so they had more water in there. They're nice people. They used to walk, go to the restaurants, or buy food. Yeah, sorry about that. What you can do, like a family passed away. You just saw them there, very quiet, nice family. In the meantime, President Joe Biden has directed the Department of Energy to use all tools, including the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, SPR, to keep gas flowing in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida that has so far killed 11 people. Important to know that the region hit by Ida is the key center of our nation's oil production and refining infrastructure. That's why we're not waiting to assess the full impact of the storm is going to have on oil production and refineries. We're moving already, quickly, to increase the availability of gas and easing the pressure on gas prices around the country. I've directed the Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm, to use all of the tools at her disposal, including using the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to keep gas flowing to the pumps in order to get critical supplies to the region to beat the pandemic, I directed the Department of Transportation to renew an energy declaration to provide flexibility on how many hours a truck driver can drive. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.